All righty. IPv6 subnetting. Hard to believe that Cisco is going to put an IPv6 subnetting question in there. I think they're just doing it, put it in their books, just so you can start being aware of it. But just in case, it's going to be in the certification. All right, I want to show you how to do it. Okay. Now, what does it say here? First bullet. You first must be a master in IPv4 submit. IPv4 submitting should be like cutting butter. Anybody can give you any mask, any IP address, you go, oh, it's this. That's the way it's got to be. Okay? Before you get to IPv6. It uses the same concepts as IPv4, but now it's in hex. This is where the problem comes in. Okay? We're going to break everything down into binary. You have to. It's the easiest way to look at it. Okay? Don't you, I guess you... You've done it so many times already that you can look at an address and say, this is it, this is it, this is it. And that's the point eventually that we want to get to. All right. So I'm going to open up a spreadsheet that I've made many, many moons ago. All right. Uh, that kind of breaks that down. I created my own little way of doing it with the same concept with the line from IPv4. All right. So let's see that example. And again, let's take, a, let's take it slow. Okay. I'm not expecting anybody to memorize this right now but definitely you need to be aware of this information okay so we know this already we know this already ipv6 address 2001 4800 face 1000 right this is 64 bits because each field or section is 16 bits right there's a first second third and fourth and you have that colon that separates it from the interface ID. Here's the interface ID, each one is 16 bits, 64 bits. You have your prefix length, prefix length, okay? Which is 64, which is the, everybody uses it just because the math is a lot easier. Okay, now, here comes the subnetting portion of it, okay? Why is that? Oh, okay, that's highlighted, okay. All right, so they're giving you this address, 2001, 4800 phase. Now, you break this down into binary. Now, I'm not actually breaking it down into binary. I put that one there just so you know that this is a global address, okay? But there's four bits in each one, okay? Here, the 001 represents that too, okay? If I were to put here four and eight, then I will actually do it the way it's supposed to be. But each section, is four bits long, okay? There's, here's the two, or, well, I'm sorry, let me, uh, let me, let me step back, okay? Cause we're working in the red. Here's the 1000, that's why this is 001. Then they're all zeros. That's why you see all zeros here. Now, I gave these names. I gave these names. Now remember, we're looking at this guy right here, okay? First position, that's that number one. Second position, that's that second zero. Third position and fourth position. I gave them positions, okay? So we know where exactly we're working at. Cool. So now we take those zeros and we have a need for 10 subnets. Okay, we're given a 52 prefix length. So that is our starting point. So you can see here in blue, a prefix length of 52 is a starting point. Here's the line right there. Because 16 and 16 is 32. 32 and 16 is 48. 49, 50, 51, 52. Boom. There's your blue line. So we need 10 subnets. Okay. 2, 4, 8, 16. Now I know you're saying, Laz, but why are you cutting to the right? Don't you can't host to the right? We're not in IPv4, we're in IPv6. And we're in the network ID portion of the address. We, we don't do anything. We don't deal with the interface ID. Don't worry about the interface ID. It's the network ID we deal with. All right, so from the starting point, we count to the right, 24816. So it's four bits. So that four bits turned that 52 into 56, right? 52 plus four is 56. 
So that's our new network prefix. So what position are we in? We are in the second position, the second zero, meaning right there, that second zero. And the line, what is the bit value to the left of that line? One. So we're incrementing by one in the second position. I'll leave that right there. Okay. So what do we have? Okay. 2001, 4800, face. You always put the original address that you were given with the new subnet, with the new prefix length. Okay. And then in the second position, we can increment by one. That is right there. So we got 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900. You can continue so you get to F. Right? But this is all we need right now. These are our 10 submits. All right? This is how you would submit in IPv4. I mean, IPv6. Okay? In IPv6, this is how you would submit. So again, let me run by it again so I can make it short, sweet, and simple. Okay? The address that you were given to work with was 2001, 400 face, 1000. This portion right here, it is there for our purposes to subnet if we need to. These right here do not change. Okay, all right. Those right there, the 2001, 4800 and face, they do not change. They will remain the same. But what changes is the subnet portion part. All right. So now you have a need, right, for 10 subnets. So you break them down into binary, meaning this number. Each hexadecimal digit is four bits long. This is where you see four bits for the one, four bits for each zero, four bits and four bits, right? This whole thing right here is this guy right there. So the number one, that's the first position, second position, third position, fourth position. Wonderful. So we see that we have a prefix length of 52. Okay. So we have 16, 32, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Okay. And we, that's our starting point. We can't touch nothing behind that. We got to start from right here. So we count 2, 4, 8, 16 like we normally did. So we can't stop at 8. We need 10. We got to go 1 over 16. We need 4 bits. What's the value of that hexadecimal digit right there? 1. Right? Because it's 1, 2, 4, 8. Equals 15, right? Those are hex. So that's 1. So we're incrementing by 1 in the second position. Correct? In the second position, this is the first, second, third, fourth. In the second position, we're incrementing by one. So if you look at it down here, right there, you have the original address with the new subnet, with the new uh, prefix length, right here, the new prefix, 56. And now you increment down by one in the second position, which is from 1,000. 1100, 1200, 1300, and so forth. This is the exact same concept that we did in IPv4. But in IPv4, we had the networks, we had the, we had the host ID. Now, all we need to worry about is the network prefix, the subnet portion of it. Okay, that's it. And this is the way that you're going to do it. So take a nice print screen of this right here or record it yourself. Okay, this is how you're going to subnet. This is how you're going to subnet. You're going to turn things into binary. All right, you got the address given. Turn the subnet portion, break it down into the zeros. Okay, and then boop, put your starting point and then count for your subnets. Find your increment and increment in that position. That's it. That's it. There are formulas for this. There are formulas. Don't get involved in those formulas or you're very happy with math. Okay? I have found that this is the easiest way. Listen, if you run into problems or you want to verify my work, go right ahead. 
okay, because you can go online. There's a uh, IPv6, what is it, subnet calculator online, something like that, and that you can go ahead and verify what you're doing, okay, to make sure that this is correct. All right, but I'm telling you, this is the easiest way, just like I told you in IPv4, easiest way to do it, draw that line, find your increment, go all the way. It's the same thing with this. But now we're just doing it in different positions because we're working in one particular field, one particular section, all right, in hex. All right, and if anything, ladies and gentlemen, Amazon.com, the diagrams and everything is right there. You can go ahead and get my IPv6 book or my the only IP book you will ever need is right there, and it has the same diagrams that you see up here. So you can down, you can go ahead and purchase it, and you can have it right there with you. I'll explain it over and over again. Okay, but that's it. That's all there is to this lecture. That's all there is to subnetting in IPv6. See you in the next.